guys, I had someone ask me to do a video on this topic, and so I just want to talk real briefly about if you have a heat pump system, at what temperature does it start to lose its oomph? Does it start to not perform as well and start to lose capacity? And more importantly, the question that they were asking is if I have electric backup versus gas backup, when does all this start to happen? I think what's important to understand is First of all, they don't operate the same. In fact, in most scenarios, when you have gas backup for a heat pump, we call that a dual fuel system, and they operate by measuring the temperature outside and will lock out the outdoor unit and run off of gas. But if you have a heat pump with electric backup, most times, it does not operate that way. In fact, in a lot of cases, it doesn't even measure the outdoor temperature. It doesn't care. It's gonna operate the way it's gonna operate regardless. The way it operates typically, with most systems, there is a heat droop. Meaning if you have set the temperature, whether it's your cold, or because the schedule has changed, or it, because it's gotten really cold outside and the system is starting to fall in temperature that way. But regardless, if there is a temperature difference of at least two degrees in most cases. In some thermostats, you can change the heat droop setting, but in most thermostats, there's gonna be a two degree difference from the set point, meaning you have it set at 72 degrees in that room, and it's now dropped to 70 degrees in that room. So now I'm seeing a two degree heat droop there. That's when it's gonna bring on the backup heat. And unlike a dual fuel system, it's not gonna turn off the outdoor unit. The outdoor unit's still gonna run. You might say, well, Josh, I don't think that's very efficient. I would say in some markets, you're correct. But I would say in most markets, that outdoor unit is still providing some sort of heat. It's still making that coil warm and it's making that system run as efficient as possible and burn less amount of backup heat as possible. The big thing to understand is the heat pump draws less electricity than when those heat strips turn on. So you wanna get as much out of that heat pump as you can. And in addition to the heat droop, a lot of thermostats have backup timers. So they'll say, we're gonna give the heat pump this amount of time before we're gonna bring on the heat strips, try to save as much energy as possible and try to warm that home as efficient as possible. And the last thing I'll say, I get questions on this all the time. Folks will say, well, at what temperature does my heat pump lose capacity? At what temperature should I be wanting my backup heat to kick on? The problem with that question is there are too many variables to answer that question. I can't and no one else can tell you an exact temperature. I can tell you that there was once upon a time when I first got into this trade that if it got below 40 degrees outside, heat pump started to struggle to provide heat. But those days are over. Heat pumps have come a long way. There are customers of ours that told me that they used to hate heat pumps. They would never want one in their home again. And now they're in Virginia. And that's all we have just about. A lot of markets in Virginia, they only have heat pumps. And they've realized that they've come a long way. The heat rise is higher than it used to be. And heat pumps are providing heat where in the past they may have struggled. Ultimately, the heat pump system itself plays a role. The ductwork sizing plays a role, airflow, and I think that you worrying about what temperature it is outside and is my heat pump doing what it's supposed to, there's too many variables to answer that question. So ultimately, getting back to my original scenario, if you have a heat pump that has backup electric or if you have a dual fuel system, realize what kind of system you have, realize what technology is going to make it more efficient, and last but not least, if you're not sure, call a pro. Get them in there. They'll be able to set up that thermostat and you'll be able to know that it's running as efficient as it can, saving you money. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.